Hi Leo, this is your monthly August 2020 tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Check out the channel featured video for more details. Also, please donate to support this channel. So this first spread is one card per time period in August. The first card covers August 1st through August 10th. We've got the uh, Eight of Wands. This card is uh, all about fast communication. Some people call this card the um, Cupid's Eris card, so you could be communicating with somebody about love. Um, this card could also represent travel, most likely by air. And the second card covers August 11th through August 20th. We've got the Five of Swords. Uh, this is either you uh, severing ties with somebody, you're just walking away because perhaps you've had enough with this person or this situation or this company if you work for a company. Or you're just, uh, you know, not having something anymore. You're leaving something behind. And uh, the third card covers August 21st through August 31st. We've got the Seven of Wands. This is a card of you standing your ground. You're successfully fighting off competition. If you are competing with someone for someone <laughs> or for something, could be about work, could be about uh, finances, and could be about love. And you could be protecting something or someone from others. Um, so the seven of uh, ones usually means a successful adventure. Let's talk about new love in August for you, Leo. I've got the Knight of Swords, the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You're most likely dealing with this King of Pentacles, who is either an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, male or female. Absolutely doesn't matter or this person is very good with their finances, this person is very grounded, doesn't make any sudden moves, except for this time when they see you, when they meet you. We've got the Knight of Swords, this is a, either an air sign you're dealing with, but most likely this is the energy of this um, King of Pentecost, the earth sign. They are rushing in to uh, sweep you off your feet, Leo. And I do like the Hierophant card here. This is also a Taurus card, but most likely this is what they want with you. The Hierophant usually represents something traditional, like a committed relationship, something long term. And we've got the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of uh, success. This is a card of a victory. And uh, back in the day this card was called the Proposal. So uh, I really like the combination of the Hierophant, which is a uh, commitment and the Six of Wands, which is a proposal. So it looks really good, Leo. Leo, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this new person, and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Leo, if you are already in a relationship or if you're married, this spread is for you. We've got the High Priestess, the Magician, Strength, and the Fool. Uh, you could be dealing with another Leo. Uh, strength is your personal card, Leo. And what's important here is that every single card on the table is the Major Arcana card. So it's going to be something uh, significantly important. It could be that uh, you're married life or your relationship was one way before August and then it's going to be something else um, after August. So your relationship or your marriage is going to go through a major transformation, but I think it's going to be for the better. So we've got the High Priestess here. This is um, a suggestion for you to use your own intuition, I think, in this particular spread. The Magician is uh, also um, you manifesting this relationship or manifesting you to take this relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. It could be marriage. If you were casually dating before August, then you could be um, getting into a committed relationship. Or if you weren't sure about this person, you will know by the end of this month. So strength is you. Leo, this is your personal card and it's always uh, 
positive thing to have your own card in your own reading. That means you are in a strong position, you're in charge, you're the one who calls the shots. And we've got the Fool here. The Fool is actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be. And the Fool came out. So this is you um, taking a leap of faith with this person. And as I was saying earlier, if uh, this was just a casual thing, then uh, you will be taking a leap of faith with this person and moving in together. You could be um, uh, getting engaged. You could be getting married. Uh, you could be starting something new with this person that could go a very long way together with this person because like I said we do have four major arcana cards here it's going to be very important for you this month let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Leo this month keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months away ago uh, maybe five months ago or a year ago we don't know we've got the five of cups the moon we have the Two of Swords and the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a uh, Pisces. Um, I can interpret this two different ways. You do have somebody from the past who is thinking about you, who is regretting the past, who is really uh, sad, who is even depressed, but they're not going to come forward. They're going to hide it from you. Or if somebody does come back around, um, they're still missing you, they still have regrets and fears about this connection or about you uh, accepting them into your life but uh, I think you will just uh, tell them no. The Two of Swords is suggesting that you're going to be closed off or even you will even be blocking this person out of your life. So either way uh, when it comes to an ex this month the answer is absolutely not. This person can go back to the past where they belong. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, this month. We've got uh, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You may have multiple offers coming your way. Um, some are small, some are big, but you do have multiple offers coming your way, and the Queen of Pentacles in this case is you. It's also possible that you are the one making offers to a colleague, to uh, someone you work with, uh, it could be a contractor, it could be a business partner, so that could be you with the Knight of Cups on the Page of Pentacles reaching out to your other person. Um, but uh, this is still a pretty good spread even if uh, you are on the receiving end or if you are the one making the offer. If you are making the offer that means you've got something to offer. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be um, a month of growth for you um, and expect some offers to come your way. Alright, let's check out the device spread for you. We've got the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. It kind of, kind of reminds me of the work, business and finances spread I just did for you. We also had the Queen of Pentacles in it. It could be about that or it could be about something else. So the Queen of Pentacles is either an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn you're dealing with, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, or this person is your business partner, it could be your colleague at work, your boss at work, or someone who does uh, finances for you or who is uh, connected to your finances in some way. So something, uh, if this person comes in and makes you an offer with the Ace of Wands, it could be an offer to start something new, it could be an offer to get into business or they will offer you a job, I think you should go for it because uh, we've got both the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a wish come true for you or it's uh, just emotional satisfaction. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, if this person comes, comes forward with an offer, grab it and run it run, run like you stole it. Um, overall, I think it's going to be a pretty good month for you, Leo. Um, this is your birthday month, and a happy birthday, by the way. And uh, hopefully, it will be the next year will be um, a stable and abundant year for you. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you. 
and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.